Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna teach you all about iCloud. And a lot of people already know what iCloud is, but they're not utilizing it the way to its fullest potential, really. So, what is iCloud if you don't know what it is? If you have an Apple product, so Apple makes iPhones, they make iPads, they make iMacs, or different types of laptops, and all those have access to what's called iCloud. And what iCloud is, is a uh, cloud-based storage system, okay? Meaning, instead of storing things on your phone or your iPad or your computer that has a limited amount of storage, you could extend that storage by putting it in the cloud, basically in a digital environment that is not on your physical device, okay? That's the cloud, okay? It's just a remote server, some other computer somewhere else that will store those things for you from Apple. Now... It's been around since 2011, so almost as long as the iPhone has been around, we've had iCloud before. But what I really wanna teach you in this video is exactly all the different features that iCloud has to offer. Now, by default, you get a certain amount of iCloud storage when you buy an iPhone or an iPad and you sign up for what's called Apple ID. And that, right now, that limit is five gigabytes, okay, which is not that much. That's the free version of it. But you could actually update and get, I believe I get 200 gigabytes for about a dollar or two dollars a month, something like that, that lets me basically put all my photos and videos and documents into the cloud. And I'll show you that here because I really want to show you in this video iCloud.com. You do have iCloud on your phone and on your iPad too. It looks like this. I'll cover this in a different video because what I'm going to show you on the website, all these options are going to be available there too. But this basically is going to show you things that iCloud has access to on your phone. So you can see my mail, contact, calendar, reminder. All those are turned on. So this is more of an option to turn things on and off for your phone. But the website, iCloud.com, is really what is the most useful. So how do you sign in here? Go to iCloud.com and type in your Apple ID. As long as you have an Apple device, most likely you already have an Apple ID which in my case is an email address. So type that in. And if you forgot it, you could go ahead and press forgot. Okay, and if you don't have one, then just look up how to sign up for Apple ID. You could create one down here. Pretty straightforward. I'll go ahead and log in. And here is iCloud. And these are all the different apps and services you get access to just by having an iCloud account, okay? Now, what's great about this is with that Apple ID now, whatever I do here on iCloud.com, is gonna transfer over or sync up with my phone and my iPad and really any other device that I have linked up. So let me show you in order what you're looking at here. You got your mail. Now this is the same mail application I have on my computer for my iCloud email address. If I click this, it's gonna let me basically review any email I have in my inbox. I could go ahead and compose any email and just work off of this as my email from iCloud.com. I don't have to sync it up to my computer. And this all syncs up to my phone on the same email address. Okay, this is really, really useful option. Let me go back. That's iCloud Mail here or Apple Mail. You have your contact. Again, if you remove or add people here, it will sync up with your phone and your computer if you have an Apple computer in your iCloud account. You have your calendar. This is just a typical calendar here where you could sync up different calendars and move forward and backward in time. Very useful. You have your whole photos library here. Now, I use iCloud to back up all my photos. They're not actually on my phone, so I could access them here anytime. And you also have this thing called iCloud Drive. Now, this is super powerful that most people are not using at all. But what iCloud Drive does, especially when you upgrade to a bigger storage, so I have 200 gigabytes, I could upload any document here and store it in the cloud. So this will take it off at my computer and my phone. I could store everything from documents to downloads to keynote and pages, which we'll talk about. All that could be on iDrive. So this is like Google Drive, if you ever use that, or Dropbox. And let me show you one more thing here. If you have it set up on your computer, you get this little option called iCloud Drive, which is exactly what you're looking at here on my computer and the website. 
So whatever I do here on my computer, it will sync up to this iCloud website, which, which then will sync up to my phone. Super, super useful. And again, as I mentioned, if I have Dropbox, it works the same way. This shows up right here. I have Microsoft OneDrive, Creative Cloud. This is Adobe's. So these are all kind of the same thing, cloud storage from different companies. They all show up over here on my computer. Let me go back now. And you have notes and notes and reminders are just documents that you already have access to on your phone and they will sync up here, but you could start a note here instead. So for example, here's the note, here's the script that I'm just using right now for this video and I could refer to it over here and I wrote it on my iPad and it synced up to iCloud. So really, really easy and useful option. Same with reminders. And then we get to this section, pages, numbers, and keynotes. Now all these three applications, I have complete videos on how to use them on your computer. But basically with pages, this is like uh, Microsoft Word, okay? Or Google Docs, where you could just type in text. Very, very simple to use document creation. Numbers is like Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets, okay, where you have spreadsheets really easy to use as well. And Keynote is kind of like PowerPoint or Google Slides where you could create slide presentations or PowerPoint presentations. Okay, so watch those videos if you wanna learn more about those, but you could create them directly from here and it will sync up to your iCloud account and you could get the apps on your phone too and open them up there. Find My Friends is really easy and useful option. For basically one of the most useful option with this is tracking your family, especially if you have younger kids. You could go ahead and activate this feature. I'll make a separate video that's more in depth on that, so you could watch that after this. And one of the main reasons I showed you iCloud.com on the computer here is because of Find My. Let me click this. And Find My basically tries to locate your devices if you're away from your devices. So most of the time, if you lose your iPhone or iPad or computer, you could go to iCloud.com on someone else's device or computer and basically search for all your different devices. So that's the find my option, okay? That's gonna help you find stolen or lost devices. And I'll show you account settings. And with this, this is really useful because you could get a good overview of your storage. This is also available on your phone and your iPad too, but it shows you how much photos and videos you have. I purposely got the upgraded storage here. You could update on your phone easily. And I now update or upload all my photos and videos, sync them up and take them off my device. iCloud also backs up any device that you have if you choose to do that on that device. And that way, if something happens to it or you move to a different device, you could use that backup. I back up all the time using iCloud. Your mail shows up here and what's available shows up here. Very nice visual graph. All your devices show up here too, so you could click on any of them at any time for more information. And that's really the broad overview of this page. And if I show you that on uh, the, the phone here, same kind of thing, okay? So under your Apple ID on iCloud, you could see the same graph and you can manage your storage, which is one of the most useful parts of iCloud here on the phone. But if I press manage storage on that iCloud setting, it's going to let me here change my storage plan. So this is how I upgraded it but I could also decide what needs to be removed over here. So if I have a lot of things showing up on this side, it's going to let me remove it. Let me actually show you how to get to this page from the beginning. All you have to do is open settings on your phone. So this is the settings app, open it. On this page, click your name right here on your phone. This works on iPad the same way. And here, you see that option right here? It says iCloud, click this. And that's how I got to this page. Okay, so I could see my storage. I can manage storage, but more importantly, any apps that are using iCloud could be turned on and off here. So if you don't want those to take up space in your iCloud account, you could actually turn any of them on or off just like this, okay? You just press this little slider right here and it could delete it from your phone and not sync it to your iCloud. So this is really, really useful just to know where to turn these off and iCloud Drive I always keep on so then things on my phone could be stored to this so I could open them easily on iCloud.com or on my computer's folder that I showed you earlier. And you can make sure any app you have is not synced up to iCloud too. 
if you don't want that information to be synced with your iCloud account. So those are some of the useful options on the phone, but I'll cover these in a different video in more detail. And that's your crash course on using iCloud. And I hope some of the information I provided was new information to you so you could really utilize iCloud to its full potential. Again, make sure if you're gonna use it to upgrade and pay that dollar or $2 a month extra so you could go and have a lot more information or a lot more storage than you typically get with iCloud. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure you subscribe for easy to follow tech videos just like this one posted every single day on this channel and I'll see you next time.